My holy friends, I want to talk to you a little bit about the problems in the world, in the economy, and how we can see Hashem, see Hashem's message, and learn from the tradition, from the Torah, as to what is the reasoning and what is the answer. I was learning in the Zohar, the Shabbos, that the Jewish people would go three times a year on a pilgrimage to Yerushalayim, to Jerusalem to the Temple, during the festive times, these holy times of when they would pray to Hashem and receive much blessing. And one time when they went, they saw they were intermingled with many idolaters. There were people that didn't belong, that didn't believe in Hashem, who came for whatever reason. Maybe they were bored. Maybe they were spying out. Maybe they wanted free food. They came to the temple and they intermingled and the Jews spoke with them. They dined with them. And that year, for the Jewish people, There was devastating poorness and poverty. And so they went to Reb Hamnuna. They asked him, Why is this happening? Why, are, why don't we have any blessing? Reb Hamnuna, he asked them, he said, Did you notice anything different? They responded, I noticed that the rivers were dried up, the lakes, the Canaret, the Jordan. What else did you see, Rav Chumun asked? I noticed it was very gloomy. There was a lot of clouds when we were returning from the temple. It was very dark out. Rav Chumun trembled. He explained, Blessing cannot descend upon the Jewish people unless the covenant is kept. Because that's how the blessing comes down. And since the Jews were intermingling with the idolaters at the temple, the covenant could not receive the shelf or the light in its pureness. And so, blessing didn't descend. The people understood. They decided to make changes. And the next year, when it came to the time of the temple, they had already separated themselves out from the idolaters. And at the temple, when they saw the idolaters trying to come, they got rid of them, they threw them out. And they were... Am Kiddushah, holy, together. Ba'abbas Yisrael, Beruchnius. And sure enough, that year was one of plenty. And the Zohar explains it wasn't just plenty. They were very, very wealthy. It was great wealth that descended, great blessing in all things that descended to the world. And this was because of the covenant being respected, being separated. And so my friends, at a time when the economy and the world, especially in America, is suffering from blessing, it's an obvious thing. Like, it's a repetition of the times. You know, you want to learn in life, you learn from the past, you learn from history. Because history repeats itself. And here we are, and one of the nations that are having the most trouble separating themselves, living a different life than the idolaters, 
The adulterers who have the large houses, the fancy cars, the new Camrys. They have the brand new dual core computer, have to have the latest in technology, the new iPod, the greatest cell phone, brand new tiles, going to repaint the bathroom, and buy new fixtures. Didn't like the new fixtures. And Joe has a nicer one down the street. Schmuel, Schmuel's car looks better than mine. When we think, like the idolaters, when we buy the big screen TVs, and we bring the tuma, the impurities into our house, for the internet, for YouTube, and just endless amounts of Gashmias. And sure enough, the covenant is not separated. And there could not be blessing. And America is affected. America is severely affected. Because the blessing has not come down because they haven't separated themselves from the going enough. And Hashem has pinpointed it in a great light. Everyone knows that the main economic problem in the world you know, it used to be India, it used to be Africa, but now you see America. Ah, America, the, the land of opportunity. But when we make that opportunity that's first about Gashmi, it's not about Torah. We see there's no, there's no blessing, no more blessing anymore. And so, just like in the Zohar explains that in the times of the Temple, they went back, they made a change. And immediately, not only did they receive blessing, but they received great wealth. So the Jewish people... In America, because at first the bracha comes, the blessing comes from the Jewish people, then descends to all other nations, because we are a light to the world. When the Jewish people separate themselves out, they get rid of the movies, they get rid of the TV, they get rid of the internet in their home as a <coughs> full-time occupation in life. When they start to separate, they bring in the Torah more. They bring in Hashem. <coughs> They don't spend so much time with the idolaters in the basketball court watching sports. And the endless amounts of Tumah, when they become Am Kedoshev, they protect the covenant of Yisod. And they guard themselves from immorality. Then the Shefa will return in greatness, in greatness. And I believe it will be towards the end of this year. The, the, the Jewish calendar. So it's going to take some time. It takes time to make change. But the change does not have to be made in the Oval Office. The change has to be made with the Jewish people. When we start to separate ourselves, even the Jews in Iran, there's a Jewish community in our band. And they separate themselves out. They have to do mainly with themselves. And this is why they can have blessing. We need to separate ourselves we need to be different, be different with simcha, with joy, and be am holy, because we are holy. Shem called only the nation of the Jewish people holy. We are holy, we are an example to the world, and we can make this change, and the blessing will once again return. Hashem will fill the cisterns, the, the wells, the storehouses, and bring the return to the Jewish people who are suffering, maybe now, may Hashem bring Mashiach and Shefer and Baracha to Klai Yisrael and especially to America in its hardships. Hashem should remove this din, this, this plague which is affecting the Jewish people and help us to guard the covenant, to find Hashem, to find ourselves to make good use of our time in the learning of Torah, and doing mitzvot, Avas Yisrael, realizing our Kedusha, our holiness, separating ourselves out in the way we know we need to, getting rid of the movies and television, not abusing the internet. Hashem will bring strength to the Jewish people.